Keith and I started EAA back in 1990 and have been importing Tanfolio and YROC at the beginning, which went into Astra, to Star, to the Russian Kalashnikov guns, Serbian guns, guns out of Turkey, guns out of Indonesia. So it's been a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We started as an importer, kind of like a box is in, box is out. Today, the bulk of our business is in the competition side of the handguns. We have a uh, good, better, best logic on everything that we have. So you can go to uh, all the way to a $5,000 gun with Tampolio, and you can start out with about a $600 competition gun. Well, Tampolio is an old school company started before the war and helped a lot of the other companies, big companies, go into business. And each one of them at one time took a part and started making it. And Tanfolio has evolved from little teeny pistols to the best competition pistols in the world now. In 1983, they developed what they called the TZ-75. And from there, it evolved to the TZ-75 Series 88. And from there, it came to us in 1990, and we called it the Witness. And the, the evolution is amazing because it just keeps getting better and better and better. And now we are importing the best competition guns in the world. And if you look at the world shoot, the best shooters in the world are shooting the product. EAA is well known for importing Tankfolio pistols. I have here the stock three. This is really a nice single action competition gun, but it's got a metal frame and, and it's a little pricey. I mean, this is, there's a lot of quality in this gun, but you've worked with Tankfolio to introduce a more affordable version. Yes, Mark, actually we, worked with Tanfolio and created this, this was our brainchild, to come up with a polymer version of our competition pistols. And this is a copy basically of the stock three, double action, single action, ambo safeties, extended mag release, adjustable sights, removable front sight for fiber optics, comes with all the bells and whistles the same, the grips can come off and, and we can put another grip with a magwell on for a very affordable price. So the, the great thing about, about the polymer is all the accessories, all the parts upgrades that you could do with the stock three, you could do with this gun. That is correct. The neat thing about the Tanfolio product, if I buy a nine millimeter and then I want something that's heavier, I can buy a conversion kit to fit on the one frame. It's the only gun in the world that you can build from a nine millimeter to a 40, to a 45, to a 38 super, to a 10 millimeter, to a 22 on one frame. And the beauty of Tanfolio is all the accessories interchange with all the guns, whether it's a polymer or whether it's a steel gun. We never did 1911s. I was like anti-1911. Um, and then Tanfolio showed me a polymer, but it's not the traditional polymer. It's back dimensionally the same as a steel frame. So it caught my attention. Of course, EAA has not been known as a 1911 company. After all, they import the Witness. But this gun, the, the 1911 Witness Poly, kind of changed your mind when it comes to the 1911 platform. It certainly did. Uh, what they did is that we have a polymer frame. We don't have the steel frame and then grips added to it. So it's become a lot thinner, a lot more controllable when shooting. So the ergonomics of the grip really changed the dynamics of the 45 caliber. A lot of ladies can grab it now. A lot of small-handed people can shoot it. We were just at a shoot and everybody was totally impressed with how it handled. So this gun, of course, it comes in the full-size five-inch government model, but you guys are planning the officers, but this particular version is the commander size. Yes, we just came out with the commander. It is now available in 45 caliber. Uh, hopefully shortly we'll have them both in nine millimeter. So of course I've got a lot of experience with 1911s, but this gun runs very smooth. Why is that? Well, I think a lot of reasons is not only the grip, but it's the, the two rails it runs on inside, all right? Actually, the rails are the frame. Okay. I think with the grip and the inserts, it makes it a lot smoother gun. So, you know, this is a, a, a pistol that, of course, is more than a century old, but putting the polymer frame really changes things up. Want to know what's happening at American Rifleman? Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll be right back.
We're always looking for new products, always looking for something new and innovative. And we're also creating new and innovative things. So we're working with new firearms and we're working and making things safer. So we came up with ABDO. ABDO in Latin means to conceal in plain sight. EAA started off, of course, as a gun company, but then they moved into secure storage with what they call now the dumb ABDO. And this, is, of course, is just a storage box. It's secure, you can keep it on your belt. But Keith, you guys have moved into the smart ABDO, and this is a whole new ball game. Yeah, the smart ABDO is the next generation of the basic ABDO. And here we added essentially a cell phone to the storage container. We can track, we can lock remotely, we can unlock remotely, we can put it in into alarm modes, any different features that you want. You can do it at your cell phone or you can do it on the device. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you. I go ahead, the device is locked right now, I put in the code, I put it on my belt. And now it's on my belt, it's unlocked. There's no restrictions to my access. If someone were to grab it off my belt, it locks itself immediately and give me 10 seconds to put in the code. If I don't put in the code, it'll go to an alarm mode. You'll hear the tone change in a second. It'll push a text message to my cell phone with Google's Maps and it'll start tracking. And now it's sent a message to the cell phone. It starts tracking. I can reach into it while it's being moved and I can set it for breadcrumbs. I can set it for every second, every five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever I want. If I got home at night and I had children in the house or I want to lock my gun up, it's already locked and in a storage container, but now I can add a motion. And I can do this through the cell phone app or I can do it at the actual abdo. And so there the abdo is locked, it's sitting on a counter, it could be charging, whatever, and if someone came along and touched it or played with it, it'll audible alarm, push a text message to my cell phone with Google Maps saying it's been uh, moved. I use it even carrying it without the gun in it. If I'm traveling somewhere, I can arm it, throw it in my backpack in the hotel room. If there's no safe, I can put my valuables in it, put it underneath the mattress or whatever, and I can store. And we've even created another version now for medication. So it has multiple purposes. And from there, we escalated to a car abdo, which in a car, it's very non-accessible. If you put it in the center console, the speed is not there. If you put it in the glove compartment, not only is the speed not there, but you lose sight of the threat when you go to get it. And if you're carrying strong side with a seatbelt on, well, you're done. So we came up with the abdo, so it's not a clamshell that folds open where you have no room in a car. What it does is it inserts the gun right into your hand when you need it. But the neat thing about it is if I have it in a car and it's locked, I have a uh, fob. So I can set it at two feet. The minute I get out of the car, it's locked. I could have 12 kids in the car, it's not accessible to them. I can pump gas, get them drinks, come back and get in the car and I know that it's safe. Now, if my wife was in the car and needed it and I wasn't there, we have a keypad that you can put in a code and you can access the firearm. So before we take to full production, we are getting a lot of customer input. So to try to eliminate customer frustration. I always thought it would be boxes in and boxes out, but the more I get into this stuff, uh, the more solutions uh, we can offer. I really think, you know, you could kind of say, here's a company that was in the gun business, in the competition business, and now they're offering solutions to modern problems. That's really what we're moving into. Put the remote down because when we come back, we're testing the Ruger Precision Rimfire. <laughs>